This video will cover how to arm and disarm your DSC Power Series alarm panel. The first and most important thing to do before arming your system is to ensure all of your zones are clear and you have a green check mark or green ready light. If you do not have a green ready light, you will not be able to arm your system. If you do not have a green ready light, correct the open zones until you get your light. For our system here, I'm going to open zones 1 and 2. I'm going to, we're displaying the word open and I'm going to press the right arrow. It's now displaying 1 and 2 and we do not have our green ready light. So to get our green ready light, I'm going to close my two zones. Open has disappeared and I have my green check mark. Now that we have a green ready light, we are ready to arm. There are two ways to arm your system, in stay and away. Away will activate all contacts and devices. Stay will arm everything except motion devices and other devices programmed in as motions. As a special note, smoke detectors and hold up buttons are continuously active as they need to be on all the time. Let's first look at how to arm in the stay mode. This method of arming can be used in a residency when you are going to bed or you have large animals that may set off a motion detector. To arm in the stay mode, you will need to press and hold the stay button or if your keypad has icons, the man in the house icon. This is located on the upper right of the keypad on the shortcut keys. When the stay button is pressed and held, the keypad will beep and the red arming light will come on. The stay type of arming will have a silent countdown. Just because it is silent does not mean your system is instantly arming. The normal exit delay time is counting down internally. After the preset delay time expires, the system is now armed in stay mode. Our keypad at the top right has the word stay. We have our green ready light, so I'm going to press and hold the stay button. The keypad chimed, we have our red arming light, and a silent countdown. So right now our system is counting down internally for 30 seconds. To disarm your system, type in your four digit user code. Whenever the alarm is armed or an emergency feature is active, you will need to type in your code to disarm or cancel the feature. For our system, I have 1234 programmed in as a code. So I typed in my code, the alarm beeped, and we lost our red arming light. We're back in a standard disarm state. Next, to arm your system in away mode, you can do it in one of two ways. You can type in your code or press and hold the away button. The away button is located on the right side of the keypad below the stay button. It could either have the word away or show an empty house. You do not need to type in your code and then press the away button. When the system is armed, the away mode, the keypad will beep acknowledging the arming and then beep during countdown. When the system reaches 10 seconds, the beeping will increase to let you know there's not much time left before arming. So first we're going to practice with the away button. Ours has the word away. If you had icons, Stay would show a man in a house, away would show an empty house. So I'm going to press and hold the away button approximately two to three seconds to get it to activate. The alarm is beeping. We have our red lock light or red arming light. So right now our alarm is arming in away mode. It will beep this way for approximately 20 seconds and then the final 10 seconds the beeping will increase. For time constraints on the video, I'm just going to go ahead and disarm the system. I wanted to take a minute to point out two things that clients often ask. When the away button is pressed and activated, the system arms normally. When the client types in their code, the word bypass or an open door with an X appears. To clarify this, when the code is entered, the alarm system is looking for a delay door to be opened and closed. This lets the system know that everyone has vacated the premises. If the door is not opened and closed and the time expires, the system will default into stay mode 
and if motion detectors are present, they will be disabled. The system does this so that if you do not make it out in time, that you will not set off a motion detector. To show this, I'm going to press and hold the away button. System's beeping. We have our red lock, so the system's arming. No bypass. I'm going to go ahead and disarm the system. We have our green check mark. I'm going to go ahead and arm it with my code, one, two, three, four. What we're going to notice different is the word bypass. Because we typed in our code, the alarm is now looking for the main door or a delay door to be open and closed. So I'm going to go ahead and trigger my delay door, mimicking leaving the premises. I just closed it. The bypass disappears. This, this is showing that somebody or whomever has left the premises. I'm going to go ahead and disarm the system. Red light is off. We have our green check mark. Nothing is showing open. So we're good to go. The other question that I am asked is if the client has open and close reports and how that pertains with the away button. If your system is programmed with open and close reports, do not use the away button. Have each employee use their assigned code. This will allow proper reporting. Using the away button only reports a general arm and no specifics on who armed the system. Also, if you have a wireless key fob for your system, you can use it to arm and disarm. Please view or review the key fob video for specifics with your key fob. This concludes the video on how to arm and disarm your system. Please consult your user guide for more information.